But Neil, I know you're literally like the nicest human being on the face of the planet, but I got to ask you, what are your feelings towards Charles Oliveira right now? Nah, I don't know. I don't really, uh, man. Um, I'm never going to hate a fighter for, for wanting more for himself and trying to get more for himself. So it is what it is, you know. I, uh, I'm over it. I'm just now looking to, uh, I'm just looking forward to Saturday. Um, Charles has been in with the company for so long. It's not like he doesn't deserve it. I, my frustrations was more over the fact that I, I jumped in short notice, didn't take a break, stayed in camp just in case he wanted to go back in and things like that. But I got better. I got better in the training. I, I, you know, the most important thing as far as my career goes is improving. The day I stop improving, I, I stop fighting, you know? So I'm over it. I'm, I'm uh, God bless him, best, uh, hopefully best for him. I, I hear possible title shot, something like that. Yeah, good for him. Great. Uh, I'll be seeing him all soon. I like it. Was there any disappointment, I guess, that they couldn't find somebody else for you before now? Uh, yeah, kind of. <laughs> like, <laughs> so I um, was August 7th, I thought. I can't remember. Um, and August 8th, I got a text message from Sean Shelby. My phone was being weird, so I didn't actually get the text till later on, but uh, I got a text from Sean saying like, hey, possibly fighting Charles. And, I, and uh, Ali called me, my manager, and I said, yes, let's, let's go, you know? So from August all the way to today, no, no vacations, no breaks. I've been, uh, I've been just training, and it's been two a days and sprints and all that good stuff. So I uh, would have liked to fight earlier, but I'm not complaining. Yeah. Well, at least you got a fight now, right? So the yeah. chance. Of, what, what did you think? I mean, the rematch. I mean, it, it seemed kind of a weird fight to put together, but at the same time, you guys are both, you know, kind of climbing your way up. So, I think, I think it makes sense in terms of uh, seeing who's the best, who's the best in the world. He's on a streak. I'm on a streak. Um, I just thought it would make more sense a little bit further down the line. For example. Uh, there's guys who are like one and one in the top five or top seven or on one or on two, whatever. So why not let us have a turn with those guys, like both, for both Diego and myself? Uh, we, you know, we fight one of those guys, you know, rankings change or don't change, and then we fight each other, so maybe closer to the title. <coughs> that made more sense to me. But again, uh, one of the best guys in the world, I'm not. I'm not looking past him. Uh, right now, my whole career is about uh, Carlos Diego. Yeah. Does it feel like you guys are in similar positions? I mean, because I think like you two guys are probably like two of the most underappreciated guys in the division. You know, for what you've been able to establish in your career, and maybe not getting the respect that you deserve. For sure. I, I, I'm not. I'm going to speak on just uh, Carlos. Think about it. He fought Rustam. Everybody's like Rustam's the guy. Then he went and fought Merbeck. They're like, no, 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 Merbeck's the guy. This is the guy, you know, who's going to stop these guys, you know? And then he beat them both, and he did it dominantly. It wasn't like, you know, maybe the Merbeck fight was a little bit closer, but he, he dominated those fights. He had a great fight, and then they put Pettis in front of him, and he just walked through Pettis. He really did. Like, I, I, don't, I don't even know if Pettis landed more than a couple of shots. He, Pettis had maybe, a, maybe 30 seconds of that fight. So, like... He's got to be feeling it. I know I'm feeling it. But being underappreciated by everybody is fine with me. You know, I, I've kind of lived that way. And I, I'm, you know, I'm a devout Christian. My, the idea is uh, you fight for the audience of one. I, I have God-given talent, so I want to take that talent, multiply it, and give it back. That's 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 how it should be as a Christian athlete. So that's that's where I'm at. Is it ever hard for you to, to stay true to that? Because you see, like, man, man maybe, maybe if I try to talk a little trash or something, you know? I'm a hypocrite. I mean, I'm not perfect. <laughs> I'm a hypocrite, man, because, like, I say that right now, but, I, I'm, I, man, I, I've had so many thoughts of, like, I'm just going to call this guy out and say this and this and this because I'm so pissed right now or this. And the, so, like, 
I, I'm telling you what I should be, but I'm also a hypocrite. I, I, I'm not perfect, man. I, I, I have that feeling all the time. There's times where I, when, when Charles pulled out and I kept seeing him call out Tony Ferguson, I was getting so frustrated. I was like, dude, you're saying you have this issue, but then you want to fight Tony. And, you know, again, for me, it always goes back. Pick up your dang Bible and start reading it so you understand what you're made for, what, what your pur purpose is. And it's not, it's not to go after people because they didn't give you attention. It's, that's not my purpose. You know, my, I, I have a purpose. Uh, I have a God-given path, and that's what I want to be on. So that's where I'm at. That's awesome. As far as the matchup itself, I mean, tactically, you guys have both changed quite a bit, I imagine. But is there, is there any kind of, like, mental edge or something going in there against a guy you've, you know, fought before? I feel like the mental edge would be for him because, like, he wants – this is an opportunity. This is a win-win situation for him, you know, I think. But who knows? Um, for me – I do not want to go one and one. I, I mean it. Like one of the biggest motivators, and uh, sometimes I think it's it's a stupid motivator, but it, one of the biggest motivators. I don't want to be one and one with him. I want to make sure everybody knows I'm the most dominant guy. Like this 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 fight should have never been booked. Um, that's you know I want Sean Shelby to be like, man, I, I screwed up. I shouldn't have booked this fight. This this was a mismatch. That's how I want it to be. I, I want them to be like, crap, we just need to put this guy for the title. Like, everything is a mismatch. That, that's, that's my mindset. And uh, are you thinking you collect a bonus here and put it toward the social project? Is that the plan? Uh, listen, I'm not trying to go out there and be a bonus machine. I'm telling you guys this now. It's just happening. It's, it really is. Like, I was – earlier somebody asked me, like, oh, game plan, blah, blah, blah. I was like, dude, I'm a grappler. I, I am. I know I can strike. Yes, I can. But, like, grappling is my – first instinct and whether it's Diego, Charles, Habib, doesn't matter, you will see me engage in grappling. You will see me looking for the takedown. But for some reason, it, lately it's been like, all right, it's not working. <laughs> Maybe try the hands. Oh, okay. It worked. Cool. It's been like that. But I'm, there's no secret to me. I, I'm, I'm, I'm as uh, simple as they get. ABC. I, I, it starts with grappling for me. Nice. Last thing for me, I mean, obviously this is, you're, you're, like you said, you're all focused on this, but do you have goals for this year, like where you want to see your career be? Okay, so a little bit tricky for me. Um, I want to fight now, and my wife's pregnant. We're 19 weeks. I would say we're halfway. I think we're halfway. Uh, we're halfway there, so my baby comes in June. You won't see me for a while. That, you know, I'm going to be spending some time with my uh, daughter. So April or May is ideal. Uh, that's, that's my goal. And as far as what I'm going to get or, like, the title shot, I could care less. I, I, I know Max Holloway had to go 10 and, uh, 10 and 0. He had to win 10 fights in a row to get it. So I'm not going to sit here and uh, complain. I, I've, I've seen what other fighters have gone through. So I, I, I just don't like to make myself the victim. It's not, it's not a good mentality. So you said April for the next fight, roughly, and then we won't see you fight again until next year? I would like to fight three times this year. So I would like to go either April, late April or mid-May. Yeah, mid-May. A little scary mid-May. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then maybe like end of the year. I would like to fight November or December. And, and this is all, you know, uh, man makes plans, but God lays down the foundation. God lays down the steps. So if God willing, it works out cool. But if not, maybe I just fight two times this year or, or, or once this year. We'll see. I'm, I'm, not, uh, I'm not too worried about it. The way I've been training... I have a feeling I'm going to fight a lot this year because, man, I, I didn't even have a break, and I enjoyed my not break, whatever that was. I enjoyed going from straight from uh, fighting Scott back into sprints, which was really weird. But right now I'm surrounded by so many good guys, and it just, it just helps. You said that you've been training constantly since basically August and doing two-a-days and whatnot. Are you uh, worried about burnout? That's what I was worried about. Yeah, I was genuinely worried about that. Like, it's a real thing, you know. Uh, I've had it before, but uh, lately it's been the opposite, man. The, uh, lately it's been the opposite. I, w I woke up doing two a days waiting for Charles, and I didn't get Charles, so everybody's like, oh, you must be bummed. You, you, you got Diego, the guy. You I was like, no, I'm actually 
pretty I don't know what it is man but I'm I'm on fire and I thank the Lord for it you know I uh I can't wait to fight I, it's it's weird cuz Normally, fight week, I'm cutting weight, my mouth is dry, I can barely speak, but today, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling good, I can talk about it, I, I, I want to just fight, like, I just want Saturday to come, and normally, it's not like that for me, I, I'm, I'll be honest with you guys, I'm not the kind of guy who's just like, oh, I'm not scared, I'm terrified, I'm terrified of every day when it comes to fight week, because there's, there's so much emotions in it, but for some reason, I'm still terrified, but I have an easier time overcoming that fear lately. So I'm, 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 I'm just really, really excited for, Friday, uh, for uh, Saturday. Are you more terrified about fighting or having a kid? <laughs> Shoot, I think my kid. I, I'm going to have a girl, you know, and uh, they say girls with their daddy, they just take over. So I'm, uh, she's going to be a daddy's girl. and. I'm going to get wrapped around, you know, she's going to wrap me around her fingers or whatever they, they say. So I think that's, that's, that's my biggest fear. How do I keep my child disciplined, but at the same time, you know, make sure I, she knows she's loved.